Hi YouTubers, Terry here. I wanted to do a real quick project share and um, I'm not going to tell you how I made these because if you go to um, Saw, Saw Crafters, she um, did an awesome tutorial on how to do them. So I just followed her tutorial. Well, the first one I didn't really follow her tutorial. I thought I remembered and I didn't and this one didn't turn out very good. But um, but uh, after that, I went back and watched it again and figured out what I was doing wrong and um, went ahead and made um, made some the right way. And so these are um, darling flowers that you can make. It, it's very quick to make them. And um, you use a, I use a one and three quarter inch um, scallop punch by, um, stamping up but you could use you know anything similar and you just cut out three circles and um, you, you use two of them whole um, doing some cutting and stuff and then you use um, just over half of the third one so you could just punch them all out ahead of time and then um, you uh, curve the leaves using um, a tool and this I didn't have the right tool um, I was trying my husband's screwdriver and I was trying all sorts of things, the tips of pens and stuff. And I ended up going on to Amazon and ordering this um, stylus. It's made by Miguel. And it was only, um, oh, it was about 12 or $13 um, with this case and everything. So um, it's much, much easier now that, now that I have the correct tools. And... Um, and I used my piercing mat, but I think probably there might be a better mat that, that um, uh, but this one worked okay. So I used that. And then for the flower centers, this is kind of unique. Um, they are made with um, sawdust. Um, and um, you just, and Saw has a, uh, Saw Crafters has a tutorial for those. Too, but you just use some clay and roll it into balls. And my balls are a little bit too big, but um, but I but I think they're cute. You roll it into balls and bake it in the oven, and then after you bake it, you dip it in. Um, you dip the little balls in wood glue. Um, I use this, and um, and then in sawdust. And the sawdust is, was out of one of my husband's tools in our garage, so. Um, I think chunkier sawdust would look even cuter, give it more character. Um, but this is what I had, so this is what I used. And let me just show you. And the papers I used, oh, they were from uh, Precious Memories, Graphic 45 Precious Memories, and just some others here and there. Um, so this is a really pretty peach color one. Um, the papers from the Precious Memories collection. This is from a paper pad I had. Um, I like red, so and that's red and pink, so I really like that. And then really pretty yellow one. I'm gonna make more of these. These are cute. The hardest thing is deciding what color, what paper you want to use. There's a really cute. I like that one, and this one's really cute too. And then here's a really pretty red one. And a yellow and red one. I thought that looked kind of fallish. Um, so I just wanted to share those. And then I got a few things. Um, uh, I did a couple online orders, like I got this this week, but um, I went, I, I ordered from Scrapbook Pal, and I've never ordered from them before, but I needed some things, and they had some good deals. So um, I got refill blades, Fiskars re uh, titanium blades, and I wanted to get a better selection of scrappy tape than they were on sale, so I got the 3 8 inch. And there's 90 feet, 30 yards, 
there and I got the 5 8 inch which is nice and wide and there's 30 yards there and then um, the 8th inch really thin I don't have any of this really thin stuff so I wanted some really thin stuff and that was 30 yards too the 8th inch and I don't remember how much they cost um, let me see if it says the blade was the blades were six ninety nine. The three eighths inch was three forty nine. The five eighths inch was five ninety nine. The eighth inch was two dollars and forty nine cents. So I think those are really good prices for scrappy tape. And then um, I got um, I've never purchased these before. Lawn Fawn Lawn Cuts, and I see everybody getting them and thought I would get some. This is Thanks, um, and it's called Scripty Thanks, and it was $4.80, which I think is really good for a um, die cut. And then I had seen... Um, this used in several different projects. This is the Forest Border, and it was $5.60. So I think those were really good price, and I wanted to try out scrapbookpal.com. And um, so I was happy with the order, and they shipped fast, and um, everything was correct. So that's all I have to share today. I hope you're having a good Saturday. Um, trying to get some cleaning and crafting done and also uh, uh, going over to my um, son's house that just had the new baby. It was their fourth child and they've invited us over for barbecued ribs. So we going over for that. Um, so thanks for watching. Bye now till next time.